Oh no, he's definitely hurt. Did Should we put him in the shade somewhere? He can't fly. Let's give him some water too. Be oh. careful though. Maybe you shouldn't grab him directly. We're Flora and Note, a husband and wife team that love adventure travel. We enjoy discovering unseen places and unique activities that bring us closer to nature and to the communities we visit. In part two of this series, get ready for a wild adventure in Champon. We will take you to a local fishing village, a beautiful beach, try the best chicken rice in town, light some fireworks, rescue an owl, and find a hidden temple in the mountains. I love to wake up in the morning but keep dreaming without wording the day is gone. Good morning. morning. Lexus in Thailand. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I like this cup. Oh, that is strong coffee. <laughs> yeah, you have the sugar. Do you put sugar in it? No, I didn't. Oh, that's why. Sugar. You have to always put sugar. It's just too much. Whew. I'm awake. What's in there? Open. Oh. Who doesn't love Thai sausage? In this area, they like to put these small. They almost look like oranges, don't they? Not even lime. There's a term or like for a satsuma it. or no? What's it called? It's called yeah. Kumquat or something? Yeah. I've never, yeah. They put these ones in the rice soup. I'm gonna try it, but don't put I too much though. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it and I regretted it. I just don't like it that much. Yeah. Doesn't go with the rice soup. I think it might go better with the broth. I mean, brothy, a brothy soup. But with the rice, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a little bitter too. Yeah, maybe. Mm. I tried it in a long time. But how's the rice soup by itself? It's good. I love rice soup. This is like a very traditional breakfast for Thai people. And Thai the coffee, coffee right? Thai tea. Yeah. And kanji or rice soup. But I like these ones. Not kanko. Like the deep fried. Luke likes them too. Look, you look so Thai in that outfit. <laughs> like a soccer outfit. <laughs> While our friends Lily and Wat catch up with family, we thought we'd do a little bit of exploring in the Langsuan area of Champan. We just stopped at this bridge because the view looks amazing from here. We are actually on the Menam Lang Suan, which is the main river here in this district. There's a lot of action happening on this river. We see tons of fishermen and fishing boats parked here. As you can see, the traditional Thai fishing boats are very colorful and they're all made from wood. They all look unique. Yeah. Look at this guy, he added like the bamboo, um, what do you call it? like a platform on the mm. side so they can fish off the side too. You want to go check it out what kind of fish they catch? Yeah, let's go. If we're lucky, we'll see a boat come in and no can check what fish they actually catch around here. This one. Okay, these are for their daily life to use. Oh, the water! Yeah, they actually go out for 10 days. That's catching. so interesting. I thought they were filling these buckets to store fish or something like that, but no, it's for taking a shower, brushing their teeth. You want to come check inside what it's like? Can we? Yeah, in the fisherman's boat. Yeah, of course. Oh, how am I doing? Hey, how can <laughs> How am I gonna get in? And then hang. Hang. hang Grab. This? Yeah, and then. How? Here? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> they have a rice cooker here and a kettle, but this is also like the captain station. <laughs> Are we allowed to go in? 
This is the captain's head. Got two fans going. It must be really hot in here when you're in the middle of the ocean. Oh, one knee, huh? Yeah, they're leaving today. ไปกอสมวยอ๋อจากนี้ไปกอสมวยเลยเหรออ่ามันข้ามกอสมวยไปอ่ะผมอยู่กอสมวยผมไปเรือนี่ได้ได้มั้ยไม่ได้เลยม
which is actually one of our favorites. <laughs> it sounds simple, but it's really good. Oh, this is the boiled chicken. It's different here because they use like um, house raised chicken. Yeah, you can tell the meat is like a different color and the skin is a different color. Yeah, like skin is thinner, it's leaner, leaner meat. It's a healthier chicken. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the broth is mm. what makes common guys so good. Because they keep refilling the broth for you. Mm -hmm. I usually go for three or four bowls of broth. Mm -hmm. But it's different here because they put the, what would you call this, blood jelly? Yeah. So it's like coagulated blood. It's yeah. Blood. You don't yeah. like it? <laughs> no. Put it on the side. Put it on the side. It's okay. <laughs> It has such a weird texture to it. So what's really unique about Kalman Gai is how they make the rice. They use the chicken fat from the broth and they mix it into the rice when they cook it. So it has this chicken broth aroma in it and a little bit of chicken fat which is delicious. And when you eat Kalman Gai, it always comes with a plate of cucumber. Just add some crunch to it. And I think Thai people in general like a lot of raw vegetables. And it's healthy. Mm. What does it taste like? Chicken. But the chicken is really good. Like, it's really flavorful chicken. And. It's nice and dense because it's like a leaner chicken. It's meaty. I like it. I actually really like it. And the skin is good too because it's thin. It's not fatty. Mm. The sauce is yummy. So we came to this place because the owner of the hotel we're staying at recommended this place. She said that it's a very famous local common guy place. We have to try it. It's really good. You can see the lineup of people buying it to go. They're almost sold out. I think there's only like one and a half chicken left. They probably started with a lot. Locals are so friendly here. We just finished eating and paying and they gave us some bananas to go. <laughs> so friendly, right? This will be breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> They're taking away from their business. We would have come back here for breakfast. <laughs> The drive is pretty amazing and most of the road is really nicely paved. It's just there's some parts that they're still working on. So I think Champan in the future is going to be like a really nice scenic bike route that people can take. There's also a little temple up there. So I didn't think we would make it to this temple. It wasn't really on our list to stop. But sometimes life happens and you don't need to use the washroom. You're okay in there, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. You need help? No, I'm good. Okay. Thanks. This is probably the temple with the best view in Champan. That is so amazing. Just look at that. Oh boy. <laughs> You're okay now, right? Yeah. You know, when uh, when I was in my early 20s, mm -hmm. if I needed to go to the washroom, I'd be like, yeah, I'll wait till Friday. <laughs> but now, if I have to go... That might be too much information. Do you think so? Yeah. It's not actually a temple because there's no Buddha statues or anything. So it's a memorial shrine, not a temple. And he's like a general of a, a ship. 
well respected. Yeah, well respected in general. I, we don't know the story. We might have to ask the lady. Mm -hmm. I know what this is though. Like I remember in like the Chinese, well Chinese culture, these are like drawing the sticks, and then they tell your luck. So you shake it until one stick falls out, and then you read like the. I don't know, like the scripture related to the number, the number that you and it tells you like if you have good luck or bad luck or something like that. Let's try it. I got 25. You will be very lucky, like this period of time. Your partner right now is perfect for you. Uh, you have found your soulmate. Long. If you wish to have a daughter or a son, you will have it this year. Yes. <laughs> I think you got the wrong number. And you will have a safe journey everywhere you go. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Your turn. Oh no, you have two. Oh. One is 25, one is six, so I'm gonna take six. Oh no. What? Your luck isn't very good. If you follow rules and routine, it will be okay. Oh, but you hate rules and routine. <laughs> Always be cautious when you travel. I don't like this one. Can you take 25 instead? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Let's stick with 25. Okay. We both got 25. Are you ready to make some noise? Let's go get some good luck. <laughs> oh my god! That was so scary! I, I think I should have ran over there! <laughs> you got all the luck now. Oh no, he's definitely hurt. He Should we put him in the shade somewhere? He can't fly. Let's give him some water too. Be oh. careful though. Maybe you shouldn't grab him directly. Hi, come with me, okay? Don't be scared, it's okay. It's okay, you hurt? Where's his other foot? Oh, his left foot. Okay. What's wrong with his left foot? Look at his yellow eyes. What's wrong with his left foot? I don't know. Are you okay? Oh, to, to give it some water? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go down? I'll go get water for you, okay? Water. Did you drink it? Yeah. Yeah. Water. Yeah, I'll put it up. Yay, he's okay. He's right there. Nice to meet you. Come on, right there. He's right there. Bye. Stay safe. <laughs> the birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. Explored by Thais and foreigners. We only seen a fraction of Champon over the last few days, but we already have a 
good idea of how much potential Champagne has. They have beautiful beaches. We also saw some fishing villages and lots of homestays. The seafood is delicious here. There's so many unseen things that we didn't expect to encounter, just like this temple up on this mountain. Come and push yourself up. One, two, three. <laughs> Here, step on my knee. Does it hurt though? No, it's good. What are you doing? Interesting. The countryside of Thailand is just so interesting and it's the best way to see Thailand because you will see things that you probably didn't expect. 